Okay, here come the crews. Pretty tight coming around the bend. Bow number two and bow number one, just about side by side. Bow number one, Row America, has the inside around the red buoys. Bow number two, Newport is on is taking the, the longer line, but is really pushing them. Rowing in Harvard's oars today in the white boat. So Row America Rye, Bella Padone, Alexander Iancholev, Edward Mangan, William Kearns, and Thomas Simakis. So you'll notice bow number two came around the outside of that turn, and so they had to cover a longer course. But now they're in an advantage position going into the final turn of the course to the finish line, where they'll have an inside line against number one, and I'm sure they'll be shooting to try to overtake that number one crew in those last 80 strokes. Yeah, it looks like they've got a pretty good setup for the line going right by the Belmont Hill Windsor Boathouse. Coming around the turn now, bow number four. That's the Brunswick School from Greenwich, Connecticut. Brunswick took fourth in this event in 2022 and won the New England Interscholastic Rowing Association champion, uh, Championship Regatta last year in the eight. And they've pushed past number three, so they're, they're having a good row. They were also well represented here last weekend at the head of the Q Regatta. We recognize those brown unis. Yeah, bow number three coming around, Marina Aquatic Center from Marina Del Rey. They've got the white boat and the red and blue oars. And they're being chased by bow number six, Los Gatos, from the Bay Area. Los Gatos has had some fine results in many regattas across the country in the last year. And there's, I'm sure they're trying to move up in the ranks here at the Charles. Behind them in the black and pink unis, bow number seven, SAC from Gold River, California. Austin Chen, Owen Chubb, Andrew Fowler, Noah Ferguson, and Hudson Cole. And I'm sure they're measuring their gap against number eight, PNRA Mercer, which is chasing them. You can imagine those two crews started about 10 or 15 seconds apart, and both of those crews are trying to either close that margin or yeah. push it out farther. And, and right behind them, bow number nine, so seven, eight, nine, in sequence, Greenwich Crew. They won the 2021 Head of the Charles in the Youth 8 and in the U17 8 last year. They're followed up by bow number 10. So four crews in a row. That's Oakland Strokes. They finished 10th at the Head of the Charles last year. All those crews trying to eyeball where they are versus where they started in terms of spacing against their rivals. So the next boat coming through here in the blue boat is bow number five. That's Unionville from Papa, uh, Pocuspa, Pocuspa, Pennsylvania. They're being chased by bow number 12, making a nice move. St. Joseph's Prep from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And right behind them is a very local favorite from the Belmont Hill School. The Belmont Hill School, the alma mater of both Tom and myself. That's Brian Lee, Luca Mezzanot, Sean Egan, William Carroll, and Andrew Bittner. They rode, uh, their boathouse is just on the other side of the Elliott Bridge from here. They're getting ready to row by their home, uh, home crowd and I'm sure that they'll be pushing them to the finish line. They're putting in a fine showing given that Belmont Hill really doesn't have an official rowing program in the fall. All these boys likely play a different sport and are doubling up here to yeah. race at the Charles. Their, their coxswain knows what he's doing, getting ready to take that turn tight to the dock. Following up with them, bow number 11, Culver from Culver, Indiana. They're being chased by bow 16, making a move. That's Northfield Mount Hermon, prep school out in Western Mass, and they're uh, this past bow 15. Which is NorCal crew from Redwood City. And bow 13. Good right duel going on under the bridge there. Yeah, bow 13, Sarasota crew. We got three, three crews tight going through the Elliott Bridge. Bow 17 coming up, making a nice move from Phillips, Phillips Exeter Academy up in Exeter, New Hampshire. Ryan Kim, Wei Huang, Rohan, Michael Goodall, and William Bernot. In the white and green jerseys coming into view now is the Brooks School. Another this local prep school just uh, up in Andover, Mass. 
longtime rival of uh, Belmont Hill and BBNN and others. Yep. This and, is and, Natalie Ho steering Evan Salonek, Forrester Clark, Gordon Gibbons, and Zebediah Stewart. Go and, Brooks. And they're followed up in the yellow boat by Balin Jesuit Prep School out of Miami, Florida. Bow 21 behind them, Lake Oswego from Oregon. And bow number 20, Old Lime Rowing Association from Old Lime, Connecticut. Some good racing here. Coxons are doing a really good job coming around this turn, which is not easy, especially when you have the crews side by side. And when you're in the bow, you can't see what's going on behind you. So you depend on your crew to tell you what's going on, but it doesn't always work out so easily. We, we haven't seen a lot of crashes so far, which has been great. Number 25 is another entry from Greenwich in Coscob, Connecticut. Greenwich won the 2021 head of the Charles in the Youth 8 and under 17 8 last year. A very, very strong rolling program happening down there in Greenwich. Yeah, and bound number 24 that they passed, that's the Petty School from Princeton Junction, New Jersey, with the Yellow Wars in the Black Boat. They're followed up by bow number 26, that's Triangle Rowing Club from Raleigh, North Carolina, and tight on their tail, bow number 23 on the outside, Monmouth Junior Rowing uh, Club from Red Bank, New Jersey. So we've got a bunch of New Jersey clubs here. Probably pretty, pretty know each other pretty well. Now we've got three boats coming across around the turn. On the outside, that's bound number 29, Milwaukee Rowing Club. Right in the middle here. Um, can't tell quite yet. Bow 28 is on the inside. Cambridge Rins and Latin, the school that rolls, it rolls right out of here at Cambridge Boat Club. You can hear their and they're fans. they're to squeeze by number 22, that's South Jersey Rowing yeah, Club. Yeah, South Jersey, so. Cambridge Ringe and Latin making a nice move here. Getting tight through the bridge. They're, they're looking to pass two, two crews. Very experienced Cox in here, passing two crews on the Elliott turn. Ringe is trying to get past crew 22 so they can get a better line. Uh, they've just caught a crashing crab. oars there. The next group of crews coming through here, uh, another local team, number, uh, bow number 33 is Noble and Greeno. And they're... They're right. just passing to the inside of number 30, that's Wilmington Youth Rowing. And then you've got bow 34, Gonzaga College High School from Washington, D.C. And behind them in the uh, Blue Oars and Black Boat, that's bow 27, Bromfield Acton Boxboro. OKC River Sport is crew 37, which is pushed nicely into the field. They're from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And Go bow, OKC. Yeah, and bow number 31 behind them, Christian Brothers Academy from Lincroft, New Jersey. And got two crews hot on their tail. Bow 36, Hawk Rowing Club on the outside in the Red Unis. And bow and, 32 is Stonington Rowing from Stonington, Connecticut. And then bow 38 behind them, the Berkshire School. That's from Sheffield, Mass. And about, uh, about 39, White Rock Bow House from Dallas, Texas. That, that bunched up rowing right there is what people come to the head of the Charles to race and what they come to see. Yeah, it's great as, a, as good as it gets. It is. As, great, as a rower to, to be close to the other crews and seeing where you're at, it helps push you all the way down the three-mile course. Okay, coming into view now in the red oars and red unis, bow number 40. That's Concord Crew from Concord, New Hampshire, rolling up on the fast-moving Merrimack. Finley Kritzinger, Etienne Folleman, Caden Qualley, Jackson Conway, and Andrew Blagnan. And bow 35 is behind them. That's Duxbury Bay Maritime and Duxbury Mass, rowing on the estuary down there, or in the bay. What do you think, Eric? Do you like to row by yourself kind of up the course, or do you like to row in a bunch? I prefer to row in a bunch. It keeps you on your toes. Much more memorable. You might have to row in a little bit of dirty water, but uh, it, it's, it's pushing you down the race course for sure. Those are the races you remember, no doubt. Yep, exactly. Okay, bow 42 coming into view. That's Lawrenceville Academy. Very storied prep school down in Princeton, New Jersey. And they are being followed by bow 41. And that's... That's our 
local For, favorite Brookline High School. Yep. Coached by uh, Brian DiDominici, a very talented local coach who also does some coaching here at Cambridge Boat Club. Go Brookline. Yeah. That crew looks great. And bow 43 behind them. That's New York. Carly Knutson, Ignacio Reg, Bowden Perkle, Jacob Kugamas, and Logan Bateman from New York Rowing Association. Great club, uh, storied club down in the uh, New York area. So you may see a big gap in the field here, but do not be mistaken, we are only halfway through this event. Yeah, three, three boats nicely uh, tight to each other here. First one coming into view with the green uniforms. It's bow number 44. That's Central Ohio from Dublin, Ohio, just outside of Columbus. Skylar Myers, Henry Mattingly, William Buren, Noah Janich, and Kyle Rucker. This, this crew finished in the top 10 of the pack as a U17 for last year. They're being chased just on the inside by Bow 45, Central Ohio, oh, uh, sorry, excuse me, Swan Creek Rowing Club from Lambertville, New Jersey. And on the outside in Bow 47, that's the Frederick Gun School in Warren, Connecticut. Coming up on the line behind them, uh, on the buoy line, is Bow 46. That's Rowe, New Jersey from Mount Arlington. And Bow 48, the Groton School. Local prep school we have a few CBC members coach up at. Number 52 is Pacific. They're having a nice row. It looks like they're pushing into the crews ahead of them. That's number 52 in the white boat right along the buoy line. And on the outside in the blue boat, that's bow 49, Central Catholic High School from San Diego, California. And behind them, making a nice move, bow 55. That's from Ukraine. Let's give a big hand to number 55, the crew from Ukraine. Yeah, nice job, gentlemen. We've got your backs. Looking good. Bow 50, coming next in the view in the red boat. That's Brewster Academy from Wolfboro, New Hampshire. They're being chased by Bow 51 in the orange unis. That's Manhasset High School from out on Long Island, Port Washington, New York. And right behind them, approaching now is that St. John Prep, St. John's Prep from Danvers, another Massachusetts crew. And a Chicago crew, St. Ignatius College Prep, bow 54. That St. John's crew features Christopher Brown, Matthew Bernstein, Justin Armada, Jack Wagner, and Alden Rolf. Another group of crews coming into view now on the outside. It's bow 53, Archbishop Carroll High School from Radnor, Pennsylvania. All members of this boys four have qualified for the semifinals at the Stotesbury Regatta in each of their years rowing. And bow 58 ahead of them, St. Ignatius College Prep from San Francisco. So we have a few St. Ignatius College Preps in the boat, in the race. And coming up on the inside here, uh, in the white boat, Red Oars is bow 60, making a nice move. St. Catharines rowing from up in St. Catharines, Ontario. And on the inside, there is number 53. That's Arch Archbishop Carroll from Radnor, Pennsylvania. Bow 61 coming up on the white boat, Green Oars. That's Pinecrest School from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And they're being chased by bow 59. That's Canisius from Buffalo. Bow, fi bow 57 behind them, Manatee City Youth Rowing from Parrish, Florida. Looks like rowing in the distinctive Harvard University oars. Canisius rows out of the storied West Side Boat Club in Buffalo, New York. It has a long history in, in, in our sport in this country. And bow 62 on the outside, making some passes very deftly. That's Prince William Crew from Woodbridge, Virginia. They're passing... Uh, bow 64 right now, Upper Canada College from Toronto. And bow 66 is uh, behind them. That's Argonaut Rowing Club from Toronto. And behind them is uh, from Oklahoma City. 
together. Bow 70 now coming into view, the Kent School Boat Club from Kent, Connecticut. And Bow 71, Vancouver College from Vancouver, British Columbia, right on the buoy line in the purple unis and white boat in white oars. Yeah, so we've got a local crew coming next, but bow number 67, Boston Latin. That's Kava Stanley, Nathan Jang, Nicholas Lahoulier, Alexander Matthews, and Robert Calhale. They're rowing nicely. That is a young crew. The average age of that crew is just 16. Yeah, they spend a lot of time on the river here, so the coxswains looks like she's, or he's steering a pretty good course. Okay, coming into view with the yellow is bow 72. That's Notre Dame crew from West Haven, Connecticut. Ryan Bereski, Derek Rodriguez, Nicholas Bauer, Aiden Tomlinson, and Tyler Falls. Number 74 coming up into view now. Looks like they've made a good move on some of the crews around them. That's yes. Sagatuck. Yeah. Out of Westport, Connecticut. A big, big crew that's got a lot of youth and masters rowers at it. Down in Connecticut. They're being followed by Bow 68. That's Sora from Orlando, Florida, then the high vis yellow hats. And taking a very nice course. Look how close they are to those buoys. Yeah. On the outside, Bow 65 in the white boat. That's Hudson River Rowing Association from Poughkeepsie. And they're right on, on their tail is Bow 77. That's Westminster School from London, another international entry. Yeah, doing a good job on the Charles. I'm sure that's their first time rowing here. Not an easy course for the first time out. Bow 69 behind them, Avon High School and Avon, Connecticut. And behind them, Bow 73. Magunta Cook from Camden, Maine. 79 making a move on the, in the red units on the outside here. That's St. Paul School from Concord, New Hampshire. And they're passing bow number 78 who's on the inside. That's the Walt Whitman School from Maryland. So the St. Paul's made a nice move on the outside and now they're set up pretty well to, uh, to make that tight turn to, to now to, uh, to the right here past the Belmont Hill Windsor Dock. Behind Crossing them. The dock now is King's Wimbledon School. This is another international entry. They're rolling in some nice clean water there going into the Elliott Bridge. That's a, uh, yeah, again, a 16 year old crew here for the first time from, uh, from the UK, getting some good experience on the course. And behind them in the maroon is Bow 75. That's Gentle Giant from Somerville, Mass. And they're being followed by bow number 76, another crew from Chicago, Lincoln Park Boat Club, my old boat club. Founded in 1910, rowing on a uh, inlet of, the, of Lake Michigan. 1910, really? It's been around for a while. That's 82 and 83. <laughs> okay, 82 is coming, uh, bow number 82 in the white boat. Coming now into view, that's Neponset Rowing Club from Milton, Mass. And they're being chased by Greenwich Country Day School, number 83. They're having a great duel. This is how good times can happen, is uh, boats chasing each other at very close quarters like that. That can uh, sometimes get the best performances out of both crews. Absolutely, and they're both staying uh, a good enough distance apart so they're not interfering with each other, but they're pushing each other for sure. Next boat coming into view, 86, bow 86, Radnor High School from Wayne, Pennsylvania. And they're followed in a yellow boat, bow number 84, Brunswick School from Greenwich, Connecticut. Bow number 85. It's Riverfront Recapture from Hartford, Connecticut. Riverfront Recapture has put up some impressive results in this regatta this year. They. Uh, I believe they set some, that club set some course records yesterday, and these guys look like they're having a good row up the course. They do. B behind them, bow 87, St. John's College High School from Washington, D.C.
coming up behind them, Bow 89 with the Blue Oars and the Blue and White Unis. Seton Hall Prep, West Orange, New Jersey. Blank Zampino, Michael Balsamo, Griffin King, James Balsamo, and Charles Latimer. The team down there practices on the Passaic River, just in the shadow of New York City. So bow 81, Cortland Community Rowing Association from Verplank, New York. They're coming around the Elliott term here, turn here in the blue, blue boat with blue and yellow oars. That's, that's 81, that's what I just, and then after them is, uh, in bow 90, Westford Academy crew. Kendra Ruan is coxswain for Kenneth Cromer, Austin Lewan, Aiden Moynihan, Thomas Lachlan. The crew rose out of Forge Pond in Westford, Mass. So the next boat coming into view here is bow 88. White boat with blue and light yellow oars. That's Nashville rowing from Nashville, Tennessee. Amelia Tarquinio, Patrick Noon, Henry McCallum, Ari Patil, and Jacob Mendez. And if this, uh, these uh, initial entries uh, or the uh, initial uh, preliminary results are accurate, looks like we got another course record in this event, 1605. That's a really fast time, but or maybe it was 50. At this point, the top five crews yep. to have finished so far are Newport A, Brunswick School A, Row America Rye A, Los Gatos, A, eh? and Greenwich Crew. We'll yep. see if those, if those times stand as the late, later times get recorded. But at this point, those are some familiar names.